going to be using laser lights. Laser lights come three to a pack and each sheet is 24 inches by 12 inches. As you can tell, this is much smaller and I've already cut it down. But laser lights is very easy to cut with your scissors. You can see that it just cuts nice and easy. So I have the size sheet that I need. I'm going to be using it on a photo album using one of the templates from the Laser Bits photo album template CD. Laser Lights has an adhesive backing, so we need to remove it. Now Laser Lights looks metallic, but it is plastic. We would not be able to engrave anything that is actually foil like this and cut through it. It would outgas hazardous fumes. So I remove the backing. And with something like this, you want to be careful not to bend it because it acts like aluminum foil. If you bend it, it leaves a crease and you cannot get it out. So we're going to apply this from the center out. I'm folding it and I'm going to roll it out in that nature. So let me turn my photo album here. I will go to the center. and roll it out carefully. I want to avoid air bubbles and I'll smooth it down soft at first to make sure I, I am getting out any air bubbles. And then I'll really rub it in so that it does not lift during the engraving process. Now the longer laser lights is on, it creates more of an adhesive bonding. So it's important that you leave it on and as soon as you're done engraving, you want to go ahead and remove the excess and we'll come back for the removal of the excess in just a little bit. Okay, so we have engraved the laser lights and because the laser lights is such a highly reflective material, maybe a little bit difficult to see on camera, but I have engraved it and cut it and I'm going to start to lift up the excess portion that I don't need. During this process you don't want to just rip it off because you may inadvertently take off a piece that you want to remain on your item. So just be take a little care when removing it. Now for the most part we have it removed but we still have a lot of little pieces inside of the letters that still needs to come out. So what you can do with that is you can get a little exacto knife. You will want to take a lot of care when removing the insides of the letters. You don't want to scratch the substrate underneath. You don't want to inadvertently scratch the surface of the laser lights that is to remain behind. So this is a very delicate process. Once you lift a corner, you can peel up the rest. And we'll come back when it is finished. So now we have weeded out all of the excess and here is the laser lights that has been engraved and also vector cut. And thank you for watching how to use laser lights.